Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kid and Kid video. What's happening y'all? I haven't uploaded anything in over a week because I've been grounded since last Monday. My mom took away my tablet and my phone. Our internet service went down. My mom didn't pay the bill for that. And I couldn't leave the house unless if it was for school. The only time I had internet access is when I was using one of the school computers or when I used my brother's phone at the nearest school, which was a 10 minute round trip in the cold. The computer was already too slow to render when it came to managing time with homework and other shenanigans with folks. I'm technically still grounded until next Monday. My mom gave me my phone back in the morning and she's trying to see whether if I do all kinds of illegal substances or not. She thinks that I'm involved in some sort of group filled with heroin addicts or something like that just because I hang out with friends late at night. Apparently my mom has been seeing quite disappointing things in the news and what she saw in those news is that a lot of people my age in my area having drug problems, a lot of discrimination and physical harm towards black people, and illegal loitering on public streets during curfew hours. Basically if I go out past at 7 p.m. starting now, she'll believe that I've partaken into any of these activities, donate all of my belongings to some thrift shop, assume that I'm some sort of junkie that needs help, and put me into some program that will apparently help me obey my mom more and get off drugs. Little does she know I don't have a drug problem at all, and I'm pretty obedient compared to pretty much everybody around me when it comes to the law. I'm not like the people that go on the news for something wrong they did. Anyways, I'm back on YouTube. My time management is all in control as far as school and YouTube. Hopefully, there's no more interruptions to my plans. In this video, I'm essentially going to tell y'all why I couldn't upload at all this week. So without further ado, let's play Stranded at Midnight. Once upon a time, there was a group of four friends chilling at a caribou coffee shop downtown at around 9. 9 p.m. We walked there for no reason. Only one person went down there to meet up with someone. The rest of us had to figure out a way to get home. My mom's was at work and out of all the people that responded when we hit them up, they weren't willing to drive us home for five dollars. One of our friends that had to go home had a bike. She ain't even go home. She went to a friend's. Eventually, it was just me and my other friend trying to get a ride. We were walking down a sidewalk in the downtown area towards her house, thinking that we had to walk home. My other friend's parents didn't even know my friend was out, so if he were to ask Asked for a ride from them, he get in trouble. A few minutes later, a friend hit us up. We met up with him in front of a restaurant, gave him money, got in the car, and got gas. Eventually, we all realized that neither of us didn't have to be home until midnight, and that's why I made the wrong decision. Right now, I wish I got the ride home when I had the chance. Anyways, the plan was that the driver spends the night at his friend's while me and my other friend would just go home at midnight. So we were driving around with just nothing to do. It was around 9.30, and then we figured we could go to Walmart for no apparent reason. We went there to fool around and such for an hour. We messed with some of the Halloween costumes and checked out the toys and electronics. After that, we chilled in the car, and one of the drivers his friends decided to hit him up. We picked him up, went back to our area, and then we stopped at a parking lot. It was 11 p.m. and we had absolutely nothing to do. We were all just sitting in the car in the middle of a church parking lot. We had no money, no weed. The only places that were open at the time was Walmart and a couple of convenience stores quite a few miles away off the highway, and all my friends that were within 100 miles were asleep on a school night. Eventually, we all agreed that we were tired and we got ready to leave. As soon as the car turns on, something was wrong. The car would be making this noise as if the belt of the car was constantly hitting some. The driver then tells us that a week ago he got into a collision with another person, which is probably why his car is acting all funny. So we checked out the car and there was nothing we could do about it. Whenever the driver would hit the gas, the engine would sound so bad. We were all afraid that the car was going to blow up or something. Eventually, we figured that we needed to use the car because without it, we would all have to walk several miles home. So we started driving. When we reached to a red light, we stopped because that's what you do when you approach a red light. Then, his engine dies. We figured that every time we stop or if the engine idles for a few seconds, the engine dies. And in order to get it back on, we turn off the engine and then turn it back on. And considering that our highways have stop lights, I knew we were just going to have a great time. We ran into like 10 different red lights. It was so annoying. But right when the driver pulled into a neighborhood, the engine dies. And so does the car. So it's midnight. We're all sitting in a dead car on the road and it's cold outside. Three of us then pushes the car to the nearest parking lot by one of our friend's houses while one person in the driver's seat gets to steer. Eventually we got to the parking lot and we were left with very few options. One of our friend's girlfriend was already on the way over to see if she could do anything in the car. One of our friend's girlfriend was already on the way over to see if she could do anything with the car but of course she couldn't. So the couple told me and my friend that we couldn't sleep in the house because one of their mothers said so so we had to spend the night in the car. They also said if we did they'd give us a ride home while they got ready for school so they went inside their apartment since we were already by it the driver had borrowed a bike from them and went to his friends and my friend and i that originally wanted to ride home 
was stuck in the car. We had thin blankets, but that didn't really help much. It's 1 a.m., and I'm not good. I'm tired as hell. There's police driving by to check if any kids was out past curfew. It's like 40 degrees out, which is cold, and my phone's dead. My friend told me that if the police approaches us, we'd have to make a run for it. I told him that that wasn't the best idea, but then I figured it was, because the alternate plan was to get sent home at 1 a.m. by the police and deal with my mom and other legal issues. So I'm in the passenger seat with one sweatshirt on and a blanket, trying to sleep. My friend over here, just in a long sleeve shirt, is using his phone to see if anybody could give us a ride. Then I fell asleep. 2 a.m. and my friend wakes me up and tells me that some of his friends are here in another car. So we got out of the car, took whatever we could keep for the driver, and get in the other car. I knew nobody but my friend in the car. There was two girls in the front seat and a dude riding in the middle of the back, and they all were my age apparently. As soon as I figured it out, I was sketched. The legal age to have a driver's license in my state is 16. Everybody in the car is 15, riding around at 2 a.m. You can, you can see where this is going, but I was too tired to show that I cared about it. The girls also smoked weed prior to this. They were high as hell. They kept talking and screaming while they were driving. My friend and his were reacting to stuff, and there's me in the corner of the back about to fall out of my seat because I'm so tired. Then we stop at a river park, whatever you call those. We all got out of the car, and we all talked. I got introduced to all of them, and they seemed like really cool people, to be honest. Eventually, they gave me a ride home. It was 3 a.m. when I got home. I knew I had to wake up for school in like three hours, but it's whatever. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. My mom was mad at me. She had already called the police prior and called me in as a runaway. I Again, and wanting me to call the police myself to tell them that I'm home. Again. My mother can really get on my nerves, man. After that, she took away my phone and tablet. The internet has been down, and my mom didn't pay for it until a couple of days ago. She even told me that if I stay home all weekend in the house, I'll get my phone back, which I did. Now I'm here with my phone recording this story. The end. The moral of this story is obey your parents. That's the main moral. No matter how much of a pain your parents can get, they're your parents. Try to at least get along with them and follow their rules. Otherwise, things will not go in your favor. Don't do drugs, stay in school, get good grades, and keep watching my YouTube videos. Well, that's it. Thank y'all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Now that I'm back, I'll probably try to follow up with my schedule starting from today. There will be a Holocritic Worthy video on Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. And after that, there will be another Holocritic Worthy video on Saturday. And every Saturday at noon Central Standard Time. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're new to my content. Follow me on Twitter at Kidaplux. Add me on Snapchat at Kidinkin. Join my Discord channel. All the links will be in the description below. Make sure to answer the poll that's on the upper right. Vote for what video you want to see coming up this Wednesday. Share this video to anybody who ever showed up home late. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Sauce.